when I lost my voice two years ago and I had a hole in my left vocal cord and the doctor said I would never shout again and I went to the top of the line specialist in the country and they said the most we can do is get you back to a speaking voice because I just sounded like this this is all I could do and I knew then that I had to depend and lean on God and I want to ask you tonight whose report will you believe I don't know where you're watching from I don't know what network you'll be watching this on I don't even know who all I'm talking to across the world but I want to ask you a question whose report will you believe because I don't care what the doctors say I don't care what the lawyers say God is still great and he doesn't just do miracles he do miracles so great God I wish I had somebody to worship him right there Lord have mercy and I remember the night in the studio that I had been walking in my healing and I've been believing God and so we were doing the record and just like before and I don't know if this ever happened to anybody in here fear grabbed me and I went to sing and my voice went back to sounding like this and the devil said you done burst another hole in your throat. You will never finish this record. And the doctor told me, he said, don't drink coffee. Don't shout. Any of those things. And so I went back in the studio and I began to try to sing and I couldn't. And I got my prayer shawl and I laid on the floor in the studio. And I said, God, this project is for your glory. So see, I'm not going to be overly concerned about what I sound like tonight. Because the fact that you can hear me make a sound, give glory to God. The fact that I can make a noise, let alone a joyful noise, says that the God that I serve can do anything but fail. And I went in the studio that night and I, I laid on the floor in my prayer shawl and I began to talk to the Lord. And that night he said, get up off the floor and go and drink some coffee. Don't put any sugar in it. Don't put any cream in it. Just drink it like it is. And I went in the kitchen of the studio and I drank the coffee. And I came back out and I told Myron, I said, roll the tape. And he said, well, you're going to try to do something a little light. I said, no play. You are great. You do miracles so great. And when I started singing the song in Pastor Field and it got to the vamp, he would tell you it was coming out like, you are great. Like nothing. And I kept singing. We kept it on track. And while I was singing like that in faith, the power of God knocked me out on the floor in the studio. And when I hit the floor, my voice opened up like a trumpet. And I stood up. And what you hear on the track, on the record, 